Hey guys, this is Blazing Eyes bringing you a quick transitional animation tutorial that you can be using in your Call of Duty montages. This is my first tutorial, so don't give me too much hate. I'm probably going to make a lot of mistakes, but please bear with me and let's get started. I'll show you a preview up of the effect. Now you saw there, little transition, four man spray text popping up and bobbing in it has that little nice bobbing effect and then a line goes across and it's opening up so if you want to re watch that there it is and that's what is that is what we're gonna make so let's go into After Effects composition new composition and you guys should know the settings whatever the video format is and let's go to Let's go to layer, new layer, solid. Now you want to make a color that you want the background to be. And in my tutorial, or in the preview, it was a very light neon blue. So I'm going to do that again. Press OK. Now this is the background that's going to show up. And that's going to split in half and go into our next video. So let's make a text for this tutorial purpose. Let's make it transition effect. Now you can make this any font, any color, whatever you want, whatever tickles your peaches. So let's center this. And now we're going to make a animation on the text. So what we're going to do, we're going to press the layer and press S for scaling. But first, we got to change the anchor point because the anchor point is where it's going to scale out from. You see it doesn't scale from the center. That's what you, we want. But it's scaling from the anchor point. So to change that, we're gonna do we're gonna open up the drop down menu, go to anchor point and adjust the settings. Now the anchor point is that little crosshair right there that you see it's not moving. So you want to line that up with the center of your text. And that looks pretty good. Now move it back over. Oh. So I'm not used to my Mac yet. I just got a brand new laptop so um, so if you see if we scale in and out it goes from the center and out so we, what we want to do we want to press the stopwatch on the scale and put it down to zero so we can't see anything absolutely nothing and then we're gonna go into a couple of frames and let's say about 120 so the animation goes like this seems kind of slow so we can change the keyframes a bit make it closer and it goes in faster now to have that bobbing effect what we want to do is want to go a couple frames forward after the last frame and then go back down to 100 that's going to create the little bobbing effect now after that we're going to want a line to go across so that it can split up now you can use various techniques with this. You can do, you know, a lot of other animations. It's just teaching you the principles of animating and what you can do with it. But for this purpose, we're going to make a line go across and split in half to go into our next clip. So let's make the line, new layer, solid. Make this black or whatever color you want the line to be. Now go up to this red box and drag it down and make it a little thin line or however width you want it to be and change the length so it's easier to work with um, okay there we go that looks about good and then you want to drag it all the way to the left or to the right wherever you want the transition to come into so you cannot see it now we're going to animate this so press P on the layer press stopwatch and now we animate it. We want the keyframe of the line after the last keyframe of the text. So we want the line to come in after the text goes in. Drag it out and then go a couple frames forward and then drag your solid back in. Now this creates an animation of the line coming in. Now that is way too fast. So we, what we can do, we could change the keyframe, 
move it out a bit and see if that fixes it. Seems a little bit too fast, so we can move it out even more. A little bit more. You don't want it too fast. All right. That looks good. So now that we have animated that, we're going to add the splitting effect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pre-compose all of this so it's much easier to split. So select all by pressing command A or control A, whatever system you're on. Go to layer, pre-compose. Call this whatever you want and move all at attributes into the new composition. Press OK. Now we have a little pre-composed that's already animated. And so now all we have to do is split it. So go to the point in time where you want it to start splitting. I'd say about right there. Take your pen tool, click the layer. Now just create a basic rectangle in the line. So this is going to create the splitting effect. Now you create another mask around the bottom half. So we, st oh, all right. This is due to the mass, that little line. So you guys want to line up, oh gosh, what do I do? All right, you want to line up this, the mass so that they overlay each other so that nothing shows. There we go. So it comes out line goes across and now we animate the mass so let's open up the drop down menus for the mass and then go to the point in time where you want it to start splitting right there seems about good press a stopwatch for mass path and move it up oh wait JK undo that go a couple frames farther so you can create an actual animation instead of just peering out of nowhere and then move it up now that'll create an animation alright now you want to keep it the same you can either copy actually nah don't copy it alright press a mass path stopwatch for mass 2 and then go to the second keyframe, hold shift to snap to that second keyframe and make the same animation for the bottom half. So we, what we get is this. Now you can alter the settings whatever way you want. Let's just make this a little bit longer. That looks good. So you can always change settings, the colors, or anything. This is just the basic principle of animating or making a transition. What you want to do is you want to render this out and put it on top of your video clip and it will appear underneath this video and will show up when it splits. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys liked it. Sorry for all the mistakes that I was going through. And I hope to see this transition effect used in your guys' videos. So have fun with it guys and good luck.